Hub assembly on a 08 Chevy Suburban. Give you a breakdown of what I've done so far. I pretty much just took the brakes off. But we've got, take the wheel off, 7 8 socket. We've got a little Torx hold down right here on the brake rotor. First thing you want to take off. Looks like this. That is a T30, T30. Took that off. And we got our brakes. We got 19 millimeters on both ears of the caliper. Fit a screwdriver in this peak hole and kind of press the piston back. Be careful if you're reusing your brakes and rotor. And then the bracket had 18 millimeter on it. There's the bracket with the pads there still. Make sure these guys are loose and lubed. Looking good. So we got the bracket off. Then we got our axle nut in the middle, right here, 36 millimeter. Take that off. Make sure your axle presses back. This one does. Sometimes you gotta get an air chisel bit right in this hollow spot, press it back. Once you press that back, you get a little more room to get to the hub assembly bolts on the back. I've already got them removed right there, 15 millimeter. You turn the wheel one way to get to this front one. Turn the wheel all the way to the right to get to the front hub assembly bolt. I used a little extender right there on the 15. Turn the wheel all the way to the left and you can get to the other two bolts, the top one and the other one. And that's how far we got. Now we're gonna take this wheel speed sensor off. It's in these clips. Goes all the way around to this connector here. Your hub assembly is gonna come with a new one. So we're gonna unplug this sensor, pop everything out of the clips. And it might not be a bad idea to spray this down with PB Blaster, rid of the old hub mates to the steering knuckle. And with some swift hammer blows, right on this edge, this hub assembly should come off. I'm gonna use a heavy hammer. Got my wheel speed sensor apart. And this hub assembly is coming off, see? I had to wail on it pretty good right here, but it's coming out of there. You can use an air chisel to get in between these grooves, but you might damage your dust shield there. If it's seized in there real good, spray it down real good. I've had to use torches before to get these off. Air chisels, hammers, pry bars. This one's coming off. Pretty average. So if yours is having a real tough time, you might have to heat it up. Might have to go with the air chisel. Whatever you gotta do. All right, I'm gonna hammer that a few more times and it's gonna fall out of there. I cleaned up the inside of the hole. There was quite a bit of rust. Put a little grease on my hub assembly in case it ever has to come off again. Make it a little easier, it'll just slide right off. I got the wheel straight. Make sure you, and then I put my dust shield on. Make sure you put it on the right way and don't invert it. And this big open spot is for the caliper. Hole on this side is for the sensor. What we're gonna do now is slide that hub assembly right on this triangle. Make sure you line up your splines. And then I'll just get the uh, bolts all started by hand loosely before I start torquing them down. Got our hub assembly all torqued down. Those bolts, I like to go around them twice. Make sure they're nice and tight. And we're gonna cut the wheel all the way to the left so we can get more room on our brakes. Always try to use a new uh, axle nut. It's recommended, get an axle nut with your uh, hub assembly if it doesn't already come with one. So we press those pistons back just a little bit so it'll go over those pads easily. So uh, yeah. Let's get that rotor on. Got our rotor back on, got our T30 Torx screw in there. 18 millimeter on the mounting brackets, bolts, nice and tight. Those are big bolts. Now I'll just slide that caliper over top of here. Put those two 19 millimeter bolts in. Before you take off, make sure you prime your brake pedal if you pushed your piston back at all. Get those pads tight against the rotor. Press that brake pedal in a few times. And that's all assembled. We gotta tighten down our axle nut. After I get these brakes on, I'm gonna straighten out the wheel and torque that to 177 foot-pounds. Axle torque, axle nut torque is uh, 
Pretty important on wheel bearings. Causes premature failure if it's too tight, too loose. So this is gonna apply to 2000 to 2010, 177 foot pounds right there. And put the tire back on with seven eighths. And we should be good to go. If you had any ABS codes, clear them, clear them out. Might've had some with, this bearing was really bad wobbling around, really bad. All right. That should do it.